Disclaimer, all the ingredients shown in this video can be purchased from an Indo-Pak grocery store. This simple tandoori chicken recipe is the best that you will ever see on the internet. It's perfectly spiced and you can do it with a grill or with a broiler. So we're going to be talking about our spices. So we have six spices. First we have cumin, one tablespoon. Then we have coriander seed, one tablespoon. Half a cinnamon stick. A few um, a few cardamom pods, you can use the green ones, black ones are stronger. A teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. And some black apricots. You can grind in some black pepper if you want. Okay, so you want to toast your spices on a metal pan on high heat. And you want to stir constantly until wisps of smoke start to arise from the pan. That's an indication that you're ready for the next step. So let's get to the next step, shall we? So you want to add your powder to a grinder. Then you want to grind it on high for a few seconds until it becomes a powder. So first measure out your chili powder in salt. I used one tablespoon of chili powder and one tablespoon of salt. It may seem like a lot, but it really isn't. So you want to ready your yogurt. Get a container to put all your spices in. So get one cup of um, yogurt. You can like oversimplify it. Full fat Greek yogurt is the best thing that you can use except for like the curd that Indian cooks use cause we, we can't get that. Add your chili powder and salt. And then <clears throat> add your um, masala mixture. And then just mix with a spoon whisk or your hand. A little disclaimer while mixing. You should scrape down the side. It really helps getting everything in equally incorporated. So after you mix it, you want to add a um, spoon of ginger garlic paste. And you can add anything like ginger or garlic paste. My mom wants to add some garlic paste, so we have to. So after we add all our, our add-ins, we add some red food coloring so for candy apple red tandoori chicken like at restaurants. This is what they're doing at behind the counter, okay? Then add your chicken. I may put too much chicken. I'm just talking really fast for this video because I'm, I'm editing. So if I'm talking too much, I'm sorry. Okay, so you wanna add all of your chicken onto your grill. I, um, I had this um, grill heating up until it hit uh, around like 400 degrees. Don't let it get too cool or it won't cook correctly. You don't want chicken rare, that's disgusting. So just flip them around, just play around with them, flip them. Just flip them around, check one if the batter is still raw. If it is, put it back on the side that it's cooking on. If not, just turn it and let it cook on the other side. We cooked both sides, so we're just gonna take one and you get the lemon, and then you um, post this to Reddit, oddly satisfying. Maybe you should do do this and do it, because the seeds sometimes come out. But uh, I'm not sure I'm the person to do that, so ignore the seeds. Oh, this is actually pretty good, so let's try it. Spiciness of the spices. Like that. That's how you squeeze lemon, I'm pretty sure. You can plate this with a bunch of like bell peppers sliced um, and fried in oil. But I think this is already a gorilla marketing campaign that you can take to DC. It's really good. So you're probably wondering what's going to be the end for this video? And the end is of this video is going to be me stopping the video. So, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. I'm pretty sure we're going to be making a macaron recipe later. Thank you for watching. My name is Updo. And watch this over again a million times so you can see how to cook it.